Welcome to Four Speedy Paws. In my previous Duck Lover Life Hacks video, I talked about 10 things that make my life as a duck owner much easier. In this video, I'm going to show you more necessities I gathered, this time to make traveling with dogs more comfortable and safer. So if you are interested, please like, subscribe and continue watching. What each and every dog owner shall have when going for a walk or a trip with a dog is a color with a tag. I use these soft semi-retractable colors. If you choose the correct size, they are very safe for your pet. A dog cannot escape out of it when it's scared of something, but it is never too tight to strangle. You can put it on your dog easily without the necessity to fasten, zip or lock anything and damaging your dog hairs around the neck at the same time. I have plenty of these metal tags with my phone number and information about the microchip my dog has. Luckily, I have never needed it to do the job, but as we say, better safe than sorry. That's why I also have this short leash with me even when going to places where a dog can be let off leash. It's very useful when I need to have my dog on a short leash just to cross a crowded street or a meadow with cows. This rough wear leash is made of a strong strap and the length can be adjusted according to the height of the dog. The remaining part can be then used as a handle. There is also a loop which can be attached to your waist belt using a climbing buckle. The carabiner for attaching the leash to the collar is very solid and can be secured against unwanted opening. When not needed, you can simply wrap it around your dog's neck like a second collar. Then my dog can be off leash without me carrying the leash all the time. When I then need to leash my dog to pass by an aggressive door or something, it is much faster to just unwrap the leash than trying to attach a leash to a collar. You can also use it as a short leash for a precise heel training. When hiking or whenever I want to have my hands free, I use this long bungee rope leash from Rough Wear. It can be wrapped around my waist and even though it is quite narrow, it is very comfortable even when I ask Rexy to pull, which is very useful when going uphill or doing canicross. The bungee rope softens the pulls and shocks. The carabiner is very solid and can easily be opened even when my hands are frozen or I wear gloves. Just above the carabine, there is a loop that can be used as a handle when I need to hold my dog tight to me and I walk her in a heel position. Since the leash is the basis of safety and there are more and more places where dogs are allowed to move only when they are on a leash, I will stick to leashes for a while. Let me introduce this homemade paracord leash. You can do it easily at home. I keep this one always in a car as a backup. I created the second leash as a nice design city leash. The length can be adjusted anytime and I can wear it crossbody to have my hands free for shopping bags, an umbrella or street food. Paracord is the rope used for parachutes, so as you can imagine, it is very strong and can hold any dog. The weak spot of a homemade leash can be the carabiner, so always use a solid one according to your dog's size and weight. When camping or living in a van, you may find this clamping pin useful to keep your dog nearby. I personally use it only for my client's dogs, as I prefer to teach my dog to stay no matter what, even without a leash or a fence. Let me show you now how we move around with Brexy. When jumping to a car, Brexy cleans her paws on this bathroom rug. It is easy to wash and protect the seat even when Brexy decides to stay on it. When traveling by car, we use the Kurgo safety system. This strap can be fastened like a seat belt. The other one is linked directly to the seat belt and allows the duck to wander around a little bit until the car stops unexpectedly. Then it protects the dog from just flying over to the front of the car. The Kurgo system is one of the very few that pass the crash test successfully. The Kurgo harness is very comfortable, but also very practical harness. When making a break, you can use it as a common harness and attach a leash to the back or neck loop. I often join the two Kurgo straps to give Brexy more flexibility in the car. 
as you may have seen, we use the dock kennel in the car. This one has two doors and a window so the air can flow easily. Depending on how much room we need in the back of our car, we can put the kennel in the car one way or the other and Brexy still will be able to get in through one of the openings. This particular kennel has also a pocket where we store some poo bags and wet wipes. In order to make the whole crate thing work, you need to train the dog to go to the kennel happily and stay there. If you are interested to see how to train your dog to do so, let me know in the comment below. The kennel has a mattress and I use a pillow cover to make it washable. The whole crate can be folded and moved around using the practical handles. It saves a lot of space when not needed. So this is how we travel using a kennel, a rug and the Kruger safety system. I always make sure when traveling by car that we have enough water with us. This is our golden reserve, our backup bottle and a bowl two in one. It does not spill and it's very light. I always carry these freeze-dried meat treats with me, which are easy to crumble into water to make my dog drink the water, even if not thirsty. This is super useful when you know you won't be able to stop for a while, for example when driving through tunnels, or when you are departing for a trip and you want your dog to be hydrated up front. I also permanently have a treat bag with a pocket full of pool bags in my car. You never know when you'll need to stay overnight somewhere or have an unexpected trip or training session with your dog, so I recommend having some extra treats or kibbles in the car. When I plan to stay somewhere for some time and I need to bring kibbles with me, I use these food bags. The bigger one was very good for a couple of years, but now, unfortunately, it starts to leak the grease, so I can't use it anymore. But I really liked it a lot because it is very foldable and has a very good handle. This newer bag is a little bit smaller and has a practical rolling closure to adjust the size of the bag to the actual amount of food I am bringing. It has a clever side opening just to fill in a bowl nicely without the necessity to open the whole bag. The front pocket can be used for some food supplements, a small meat can or a foldable bowl. And I really like this handle. So these were some of our life hacks for safe and comfortable travel with dogs. If you find this video useful, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video. Till then, have fun!